When there is imbalance between oxygen supply and demand, it is shock for human body. Hypovolemic shock means when blood or plasma volume decreases such a level that it causes imbalance between oxygen supply and demand. Hypovolemic shock can arise from losses of blood, for example hemorrhage, plasma loss, electrolytes loss, or a combination of all above. Causes bleeding, trauma, gastrointestinal loss, vomiting, diarrhea, burns, surgery. When blood volume decreases, the body can quickly sense a fall in blood pressure through its arterial baroreceptors, which are located on carotid sinus at the bifurcation of external and internal carotids and in the aortic arc and then activates the sympathetic adrenergic system to stimulate the heart, increase heart rate and contractility, and vasoactive substances such as epinephrine, norepinephrine and dopamine are released, causing arterial vasoconstriction. Antidiuretic hormone is released and the renin angiotensin aldosterone system is activated to increase free water and sodium retention in an effort to sustain intravascular volume. When blood loss is 15 to 40 percent, mean arterial pressure falls and pulse pressure decreases, heart rate increases, the magnitude of these changes being related to how much blood is lost. Heart rate increases to sustain blood pressure and tissue perfusion, while vasoconstriction causes blood redistribution from skin, muscles, kidneys and gastrointestinal tract to the heart, brain and lungs. It means blood moves from less vital organs to the most vital organs. As the oxygen depth increases and compensatory mechanisms fail, the body shifts from aerobic to anaerobic metabolism. Normally, glucose is converted to pyruvate in the mitochondrial matrix of the cell and enters the citric acid cycle. This pathway requires oxygen, but because of deficit of oxygen, glucose is broke down without oxygen. During anaerobic respiration, glucose is not completely break down, so much energy is released. And instead of carbon dioxide and water, lactic acid is produced. Lactate is the final product of all anaerobic glycolysis in human cell. While some uh, organs such as brain, heart, liver and skeletal muscle can use lactate as a temporary energy source, the energy yield is less than half of glucose. Lactate accumulation is a cause of metabolic acidosis, a condition that can lead to decreased pH, increased hydrogen ions in the blood. When the pH falls below 7.2, myocardial contraction is severely depressed and peripheral blood vessels become unresponsive to catecholamines. It decreases tissue perfusion and causes ischemia. In response to hypoxemia, cells swell because of ion pump dysfunction. Cell membranes become hydrolyzed with the release of lysosomal enzymes and cell beginning to die. Pelor is a common finding and occurs when blood is diverted from the skin to the vital organs during vasoconstriction. Central nervous system changes ranging from disorientation and confusion to coma in the result of decreased cerebral perfusion pressure, a factor dependent on the mean arterial pressure. Lactate production causes metabolic acidosis. In order to compensate for metabolic acidosis, the respiratory rate is increased, so 
breathing rate is increased. Hypovolemic shock is medically emergency condition. If compensatory mechanisms unable to sufficiently restore arterial pressure and perfusion, irreversible shock and death can occur.